Okay, as you can see here, we have a um, pretty basic um, <clears throat> transmitter and receiver circuit. What I've got back here is a standard um, 5 volt, uh, 350 watt um, supply here. <clears throat> it's feeding the Falcon 16 here. And we also have um, the 5 volt line here coming into the, the breadboards um, rail here. And then I bridged over to each each of the, the power rails here and then also down here. Um, this little LED here is is simply to, to let me know that I do have power on this rail down here so we're, we, we have power all the way down. So basically we have um, the data coming in and it's coming in um, right here into the data in here of this one and it's being converted in into a balanced signal here and coming out um, the orange white white orange uh, pair here in this uh, coil of cat 5 which is uh, roughly uh, 75 feet long and then coming back in here <clears throat> and is being being uh, decoded by um, this one here back into a TTL signal uh, which will then be sent out to to the LEDs now right now they're the, the the LEDs are connected directly to to the Falcon controller right here as you, as you can see right here so if we unplug this and we come in to the readout so now now we have the LEDs coming out of the output right here and as you can see they're color cycling exactly as they should so basically what what I've done here is I've bridged um, the RE and DE lines here and here because they're opposites so then, then I only have to bring one line, and that's this one here. So the, this uh, coming from VCC here makes it a transmitter. And then grounding those two here, as you can see, coming from the ground rail here, uh, grounding those two makes this one a reader. So this one is the transmitter, and this one is the receiver. And basically it's transmitting through the Cat5, all the way through about 75 feet worth and coming back in and decoding the signal and sending it right back out to the, the pixels. As you can see there, they're color cycling it. I've got the uh, Falcon board in uh, a test mode right now. So it's cycling uh, red, green, blue, and white. So that's it. I mean, I'll get this paused here or focused here so you can take a look, see there and there now one thing to note um, you need to match up the A and the B's here so it, it, as you can see I, I've got the orange coming into the B and the orange is going out the B here so they 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 must match if you if you reverse these <coughs> for example if, if we switch the two um, you'll get inverted data and the colors won't, won't, won't be correct. So as you can see, the, the colors are not what they should be. So that's, that's coming out with these reversed. And then here I'll bridge, bridge the input together and that's what should be happening. Red, green, blue, white. And then we'll switch it back and see we're getting yellow and blue and looks like a magenta color. <clears throat> so basically uh, you're getting um, an inverted signal uh, coming through here. So you need to match up the A and the B and the B and the A and not reverse the two. We'll get the orange back on like so. It's kind of hard one-handed. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. 
and now you can see we have the correct colors red green blue white I want to make sure that, that, that you're aware these these lines right here that the, the, the A and the B lines are balanced they are not referenced to ground they are referenced to each other so you you don't ground e either either one of these so don't don't bridge either one of these to ground or or you you'll you'll get a corrupted signal out